Yeah, like we called the Philly click like everybody who flew out of Philly airport. <laughs> and then that's what we called the Philly click. And then like uh, Jack Victory and Dreamer were part of it too because we all would hang out together. Uh, Carino, uh, Lou D'Angeli, me. Um, that was, now that when I think of Philly click, that's who, oh, C.W. Anderson, that's who I think of because we, we always hung out together, but like, I tried to, like, I, I never saw what you saw. I tried to be friends with everybody and keep a good relationship with everybody. There are people I was closer with than others, obviously, you know, you travel with people, like you, you know, you build relationships, but like as a talent there, I always thought of us as a family. Like I didn't I really. I felt that way for a couple of years too. Until, as I said, now all of a sudden, somebody else is going to write the checks. And I'm going to stay there to make sure everything's good because I'm the one who's got the relationships business-wise with Japan, with here, with there. And he needed me to continue those relationships or all the money would be gone. At the end, in 97, as you're saying, here's a part you have no clue about. I said, I'm done. I'm, I got to go, whatever. I said, I'm trying to see. Uh, you know, everybody's leaving. Everyone wants to jump. I helped Teddy and Johnny get into WCW because that was where we were always, always polar opposites. I said, boo. And he, like, he wants to leave here and go there? I said, yeah, to make 10 times a year what he's making a year. How dare he? That bad. Oh, God. Like, that became your public enemy, his enemy. So I was, like, whoever wanted to leave was his enemy. And I said, dude, they, he broke his neck for 500, at 500, making 500 bucks a night. He's going to go make $250,000. How do you begrudge him that? We were always so opposed on that. Anyway, now everybody wants to go. Everybody's sick of what's going on there. I said, dude, you, got a, you know you got a fractured locker. Room. Everybody wants to go. They all want to go to WCW. They all want me to call and all right, hold on. We, we can do this. We can do this. <laughs> I said, yeah. There's it, it always our goal at the beginning was that us against the world. We're the little engine that could. Right. He needed to get back there. And his creative mind said, hey, if we have a joint enemy, if there's a mole who's trying to bring ECW down, I can bring the group back as one. I mean, obviously, Sam knew the truth, Fonzie knew the truth, Squirrel knew the truth, but I didn't I didn't let it out to anybody else what was really going on. Is you gotta be the heel. And then, huh, a year from now, You'll appreciate this, Francine. When you come back, you will be the greatest fucking heel in the history of professional wrestling. A mole who goes back and... I said, Are wait, you wait. telling me that the call was a work? Trying to tell. I assume you knew that. I assume Bubba and Tommy knew that. But apparently, when I watched that DVD, I said, Mother, nobody knew that. He didn't smarten anybody up. No, because I heard it at the studio. I, uh, he wrote it. He don't know how to say this. Said, yeah. And I played that. What? Movie, and I took that for the last 30 years. And that's why I wrote the book, Francine. For, to this day, Todd, I swear to you, I kept saying, wait, then, I kept telling, I kept saying to myself, how did they break into the answering machine so we could hear that message? Uh, Francine, Todd. if I, if I was the heel, I could have taken my footage with me. I gave him the footage to keep using to run B-rolls on every show. He couldn't have done that if I took it with me. But nobody thought that through like that. So, hey, it worked for him. And for a while, the, you, the locker room started to bond together again. It was a good thing. I wanted the company to succeed. It's the exact opposite of being portrayed as wanting it to fail. It's insane. I can't even, I'm in shock right now. That's great. <laughs> that, that, he worked everybody on that one then. Imagine that. Uh, <laughs> look at me. I am flabbergasted. I never knew. There's so much I didn't know. And it was, it, I was right there. In, in all fairness, nobody knew that. That was. Wow, your, I feel uh, dumb as shit. No, that was really the two of us together. And me being cool enough to. Lock, lock it up and just suck it up while people were saying things everywhere. Like, you know people hated you guys for I, doing that. I, I wanted this company to keep going. Otherwise, 
I'll never get my best friend back. I had Wait to do- a minute. So you, I, I can't wrap my head around it. So you and Fonzie, right? Having that, that private discussion that I thought was broken into and stolen so we can all hear it. That was all a work. No, and I that-, can't that was all a work. I don't know what I told Fonzie or didn't tell. I mean, at the beginning, they were all asking me to help them out. And I was helping them out. And I told him in front. They want to leave. I'm helping them. I'm helping them. If I can, I want to get them another job. There was okay. no stuff about it. That's the part you don't. The people thought, oh, he's doing it underneath and no one. But he knew. And then he said, you got to help me save the company. I need to get these guys back. I said, well, these guys know that they come back exactly because you're paying them more. Huh. And that's how, they, that's how they stayed. But the phone call was a work yeah. that I heard? Yeah. Oh, I feel so dumb. Oh, that's great. Oh, I feel so dumb. Todd is I literally Todd sat. Is I got worked. I literally sat there with my, like, like I just did with my jaw. And I'm like, oh, my God. I can't believe. <laughs> We're all sitting there like, oh, my God. I'm going to sit there with Joey Stiles going, oh, 1-900, find under the mold. Like, yeah, that was not easy. No, well, I can't imagine it would <laughs> be. A set, and I waited and I thought, I forgot about it. Until the and I'm like, wait a minute, he's never smartened them up like in 25 years. No, I don't know anything. I know that. I don't know anything. Oh my god! This is the um, authorized story of ECW, as opposed to the unauthorized story. I was never interviewed for one DVD, Rise and Fall, uh, Best. Me neither. The only one I was interviewed for was the. I know. Okay. I was interviewed for um the ones that Shane did, like uh you know the ones that weren't WWF or WWE involved. They never called me for anything. It was it was the one that Shane Forever Hardcore. That's the one I was interviewed for. But why do you think I wasn't interviewed? You think because you would tell that story probably? Because Paul was said, you know, I got this. Don't don't worry about you. I got you. Well, he was ECW. Will he come back and say to you, you're lying? Do you think? I don't think we'll ever talk again. But I mean, if, if he hears why. this, huh? Holly, if okay. you hear this, would you, would, would he like challenge you and say, there's no way you're full of shit? That could be one tr- t- tactic you might take. I don't know. Here's what my guess would be. Oh. When, when we were growing and Dennis Carluzzo is being, you know, nipping at our nipping and annoying little twat. We both would say to we, we both would say to each other, "Don't acknowledge him, because if you do, you're 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 taking your company and you're bringing it down to this level." Instead, we took on WWE, WWF. We took on WWE. We're trying to elevate ourselves to that level. So right now, he's at that level. I mean, he's psh. yeah. Got a, a, a plum spot, you know what I'm saying? Right. Possibly they say, ignoring me is the best thing he can do and it'll go away. That's fine. I'm not looking for a challenge. I'm not looking for a fight or an argument. I just got tired of hearing Cole Paul Hayman's ECW and I thought, let me tell the real story what happened. I mean, it was his, but it wasn't always his. It was the, I had some kind of a legacy there. Of course you did. Yeah, oh and even God. though that's a real story, it'll either never be told, you know, in that main forum <laughs> and never be acknowledged and he'll never sell it. He'll just either continue with just the narrative that it never happened in his world and just that name be, it DCW, just like that, you said. That would be my guess. I mean, he may come back at me, but I don't know. I'm saying my guess would be, he's going to say, yeah, I left that behind 30 years ago or 25 years ago. <laughs>